Hey everybody, it's Eddie J on Crypto. Hope you're having a great day. Um, we've got you know a lot to, a lot of stuff to get through. I'm just going to try to rifle through everything so we can get there faster. So we've got CFTC Chairman Rostin Benham came out and said, "Yeah, Ethereum is still a commodity." Um, that's obviously head to head against what Gary Gensler, of the chairman of the SEC, says that Ethereum could be because they moved the proof of stake, could be a security. He's going to have to explain that one to me. I, I just don't get it. You weren't, you were, you were a commodity before. You weren't, you weren't a security. Now, all of a sudden, because you've changed technology to make it better for the planet, and now, all of a sudden, you're, you're a security? Get out of here with that. Santander has introduced a proposal during the Lyft project for Brazil um, the Lyft project, in case you don't know, is a project where Brazil is trying to understand what it, what's the utility for uh, a digital real, CBDC. And Santander says, we can tokenize assets and use the digital real via, via Parfin, which is the company that's helping them do all this, um, to digitize those assets and digitize the ownership. And then you'd be able to leverage those assets. That's kind of cool. Not different than what BlackRock is doing, JP Morgan, Goldman, the rest of them, Fidelity. Not different than, from what they're doing, but for specifically for a CBDC and not some kind of internal coin or an existing you know, altcoin. So that's what I find to be you know, special. Uh, in case you've been living under a rock for the past couple of days, you know that Rishi Sunak, sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, sir. I truly apologize. I'll buy your beer. Um, is the new or about to be the new UK prime minister. What's really cool about this is the guy is a crypto bull. That doesn't mean that anything's going to happen right now with regard to crypto. But I would expect that once he's un once he gets, you know, the UK on solid financial footing, that thing positive things will happen for the crypto space. Just thought I'd bring that up. Charles Hoskinson, you know, of, you know, call it Cardano fame has Introduced Lace, Lace the new wallet for Cardano. The significance of this is because the wallet will help to introduce the Cardano community and the smart contract platform to 1 billion users, even if he's partially correct. That's a big deal because you're talking about a platform that's all about smart, smart contracts that now has a wallet that you can work with to sign things and do things like that. So that's a very big deal. And I do expect there to be some positive action. That said, there is no pop on that actual news on the actual release of the wallet being out there in the wild. There's no big pop. There's a tiny itty bitty little pop, but I think people are going to have to see it in action for him, for, you know, for Cardano to get that big rise. And I think for a period of time across the whole cryptoverse, we're not going to see big rises on the n announcement of news. I think we're going to have to start seeing, you know, the results, right? Not the announcement that we're going to do something, get a pop. Then the next the next pop is, comes from, hey, you know, we did it. And then the third pop coming from, hey, these are the results. I think that it's going to be toward the latter two thirds. Uh, so that's a big deal. Now, something that, that's been biting at me for a while is Apple. I think Apple is going to um, chase innovation away from their platform. They're already not the world's you know, most used platform for phones. It's Android. Let's stop playing the game. It really is Android. Even in the United States, I think it could be Android. And they're chasing innovation from the platform by charging that 30% Apple tax. So if you're an F NFT app, well, guess what? You are paying that 30% Apple tax. That's for every dollar, you only get 70 cents. That's a huge hit, a huge hit. And I think that's going to wind up being a big deal and wind up biting Apple in the ass. You know, not in the near future, but at some point, they're going to feel it. They're going to have to change that. Or they'll be forced to, or people, people like my company just won't develop apps for their platform. It's easier for us to develop an app on Android and have a really good, um, a really good mobile app. I mean, not mobile app, but mobile website. Look at Facebook. They have an app. But now if you notice, their mobile website is really tight. Because they're they're saying, hey, look, listen, we can't deal with this anymore. That's becoming ridiculous. So that's something to pay attention to. But you know what? Let's get to the numbers today. Um, 
because I think there's a lot to talk about. So you can see that most of the world is red, um, but you can also see that the coins are still, you know, basically up. Bitcoin is moving, you know, so most coins are moving side, you know, sideways. Um, XRP is at 45 cents, basically 44.9, 45 cents. Um, Cardano was down even this, I think it was at 34 cents, now it's at 36, but it's still down. So that news that just dropped about Lace Wallet has not done anything. Barely registered a blip. So things are going to move sideways until we have a big catalyst that's going to move the market. And I really think that's what people should be paying attention to. The fear and greed index is now at 20 because people have a lot of fear about what's going on with the, with financial markets and things like that. Still, I believe that it's time for dollar cost averaging and you can find a way to make money. Anyway, this is Eddie J on crypto. I hope you have a great day. Let me know if you like what I'm doing. Bye bye.